Okay, hello, um, welcome back. Uh, hope you're enjoying the series so far. Uh, thanks to everyone with the comments and suggestions. Uh, today's gonna be a little bit short. Um, so beforehand, just a brief commercial announcement. Um, so I'm hosting the posts for this on my blog, uh, saylavi.github.io, and um, if you're interested in stuff beyond Emacs, uh, specifically a computer science education with a focus on uh, the high school level, that's what I do, uh, that's my day job. Um, you know, you're welcome to check that out. Uh, my previous post actually was in response to a, a friend of mine's post also about, who's also a, um, a high school computer science teacher, uh, but it is Emacs related, but most of the um, other posts aren't Emacs, but um, you know, if you're interested in, uh, you know, hearing in a, you know, an old curmudgeonly teacher rant and rave about uh, computer science education, uh, you might want to check those out. Um, so to start with, um, I cleaned up a little bit of the um, swiper configuration here rather than cut and paste because I don't use all of it. And I also use this as an option um, or an opportunity to take a look at the bind option for use package. So instead of using um, setting the keys, I mean I use bind, like well, set bind up here as well. Um, but instead of doing global set key down in this area, you can just use bind here. The other thing I want to remind you, there's config and init as options, colon config and also colon init. Uh, let's see if I have a, yeah, we do have an init up there. Notice how I'm using Swiper to find that there. Um, and uh, init sets things before it loads the package and config afterwards. Um, so anyway, we'll just uh, get back out of here. Um, so what I wanted to show today is something that I really haven't been using, but a lot of people swear by it, and um, I want to try to play with it a little bit more, and that's um, AV. And AV is created by the same guy that um, did Swiper. Uh, we go over here to the root GitHub. Um, so um, Ole Krehel, uh, sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, um, did that. And so notice Swiper, which you know I'm a fan of, Ace Window, which you know I'm a fan of, um, AV, which I haven't been using, but, but, but it's pretty cool. So I want to show you that quickly today. Uh, Hydra we'll get to later. Um, so AV is um, it's another way of navigating really quickly. And um, it's based on ace jump mode, which I think is based on something that came from Vim. So to, the way to set it up, uh, really easy, is we will just do a use package, AV. And I believe AV is already installed here. And the reason I think it's already installed is I think it's, it comes with some of the stuff that we've already installed with Swiper and Ivy and all that. But we're going to bind just one key for this, meta s. And that's going to be bind, binding to AV, go to character. So we'll close that off, close that off, control X, control E to run it. I'll save this, save it for later. Now here's how this works. Um, I bound this to meta S. So if I were using control S, that would bring up swiper and I would be searching by, um, by not searching, navigating by search. If I type meta S, um, Actually, let me move my window. Let me look, make my window smaller so you can see that because it was under the keyboard highlight here. Or you know, There we go. So if we do meta S, it says character. So I can type the character. Let's say I want to go to one of the lines maybe here with these C's here. So I type the C. And notice what it does is it brings up letters over all of those C occurrences. And if I want to go to that second one, that's S is its key, bang, I'm there or meta s if I want to go to that define down here really, really quick, just a couple of keystrokes. So it's actually a really cool package. I just haven't found it into my workflow. Um, I want to just try to do, um, I recommend trying all of these things like micro habits, basically just pick up a couple of days or a week or something and say, I'm going to use this technique. Um, that's how I started using search for navigation and I'm going to try to do that with AV at some point. Um, and so just force myself to slow down a little bit and use it all the time and I'll probably like it a lot more. Uh, the biggest difference is AV searches on the screen, something you have to see, whereas searching with or, or navigating with search will search anywhere in your document. Uh, if you do look at the documentation, uh, there's a lot more options. So I just showed you, uh, first, you can configure this differently if you, I'll show you that in a second. But it normally binds AV go to character, which was what I was showing you, with uh, control colon. 
uh, but it also has go to character two where you type in two characters. So if you have a lot of one character, go to character two, easier to make that unique. Um, it's got a whole bunch of other ones, go to line, go to words, so it looks at the beginning of words, um, et cetera, et cetera. Um, this is the command you would use in the colon config section if you want to get the default configurations. Lots of good stuff here. Um, so AV, um, I don't really use it yet, but I'm going to play with it some more, but I definitely, definitely, definitely recommend checking it out. Um, so as usual, comments welcome, um, you know, on the blog, on YouTube, whatever else. Um, Thanks a lot, and um, uh, next video, uh, actually, what are we going to do in the next video? Um, I think we'll talk about autocomplete in the next video. Okay, so um, enjoy.